Hi, today I would like to talk to you about spotted wing drosophila. Spotted wing drosophila is a fruit fly that we recently found in Oklahoma and it's a threat to our fruit industry. Um, it's really a pest in blackberries, raspberries, peaches, strawberries, and grapes. So today I'm out in the garden and I am putting out traps to monitor for spotted wing drosophila. And this is really quite simple and you can do it in your own um, garden to see if you have this pest. All you need is a deli cup. This is a 32 ounce deli cup that I have put little holes around the sides. I used a soldering iron um, to put the holes in. I put about 12 um, around the edge. You fill it with about, oh, a cup of apple cider vinegar, just what you buy at the grocery store. It's very important when you're monitor monitoring for spotted wing drosophila that you add one drop to two drops of an unscented dish soap um, to your drowning liquid, your apple cider vinegar. This breaks the surface tension so the insects actually will um, go into the solution and drown. If you don't do this, um, they'll actually fly out of the trap. And this apple cider vinegar actually attracts the fruit fly and it also attracts some other creatures too. So we have to learn how to identify spotted wing drosophila. So once you collect your trap and you're ready to check for spotted wing drosophila, pour off the liquid um, into another container that has, a che has cheesecloth over the top. This way it strains the insects away from the liquid and you can look at them closer. So you'll notice that there's a lot of small insects and large insects, you'll sort them by size because spotted wing drosophila is only about two to three millimeters long. Once you have everything sorted by size, um, take a 20X hand lens and look closely at the smaller flies. Spotted wing drosophila has a spot um, on the leading tip of the wing. Um, it's black and it's very easy to see um, with a hand lens. Those are the males. Now the females do not have this spot, but they have an ovipositor that is very large and serrated. Now the female uses that ovipositor to insert an egg into ripe fruit um, on the vine. And this is why it's a problem in your fruit, in your garden, because the larvae develop in those berries and that's on the vine. And there's also another option um, for monitoring for spotted wing drosophila. There's actually a commercially available lure. And this lure is actually manufactured right here in Oklahoma by Trace Industry. And you can um, get it at Great Lakes IPM. It works very, very well. Um, it does attract some non-target insects, but it does a very good job at attracting spotted wing drosophila. So what I've done here is I've hung the lure um, from a paper clip suspended from the lid. Um, then you would add your apple cider vinegar um, to the bottom. Um, I fill it about a quarter of the way full um, and then just check it weekly. And these lures you replace every two weeks. They're very economical. Once you have sorted through the insects that you have, um, if you're not sure about the identification um, of the insect, you can put it in a vial and you can just add a little bit of apple cider vinegar and you can um, take it to your local extension office or send it to the Plant Insect Diagnostic Laboratory at OSU and we will identify it for you. So monitoring for spotted wing drosophila is a great way to protect your fruit from infestation. If you do find spotted wing drosophila um, in your traps or in your fruit, um, a great way to treat for it is to use malathion, which is available at any box store. And um, it works very well. If you're an organic um, producer, there is another option and it is called spinosad and it's also available at any box store. So there's a lot of great options um, to control this insect pest. And as long as you monitor and um, look at your fruit, um, you, you will enjoy your fruit all summer long. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. 
You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.